No, it's very sweet. Her dad, dad, <laughs> comes in, throws down a picture of Scott Weiland on the table and goes, is this him? <laughs> then her best friend, who is now my best friend, Dayon, who is not here, and if he was, we would hear him cackle. <laughs> he walks in the room when she's not there to the family and has an intervention and says, Madi is a groupie. She's dating this fucking guy in a band. He wears eyeliner and nail polish. 90s, 90s by the way, I should put that out. The 90s did a lot of bad things to good people, I just want to point that out. And these were, and, and these were things that we kind of shoved off, and then one day I was, I was, I was out, and we were, we were very early, early on, and she called me and said, this just can't work. We are too different, we are two different people, your life isn't my life, this isn't what I want to do. She had just gotten her master's degree from St. John's in marketing, and she was going on forward and doing this. I was just a ball of crack fuckery. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I was just lucky. And I had just sold a few records. So I was, at this time in our life, I was more famous than she thought that I was. But less famous than I thought that I was. And so that night she called me. I was in Denver. I remember I was in a hotel. And I sat down and I wrote this song. And this song was a, get your life that you know is your future and you see it right there and it's about to leave you and just do whatever you can to get it back song. And because I don't have any other skills, I can't fix her car or her television, I can't do math problems, I can write a song. And so I wrote this song and this is a, a story behind that. <laughs> You think I'm weak 